Hi guys, welcome you all to my channel. Is this your first time of coming to my channel? Thanks a lot. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Since this tutorial, we are going to make a simple video on how to cut and sew your off shoulder sweetheart bustier and your fish sleeve so basically i call this sleeve fish sleeve because of how cute it is and also because of the fish effects you have on the sleeve so if you're interested in learning how to achieve this then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve this you have your shoulder measurements your bust your waist your hip your sleeve length and and your round sleeve measurement so let's go ahead now and calculate our measurement so our shoulder measurement is 14 14 divided by 2 we have 7 our bust is 36 36 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 10.5 inches our waist is 28 28 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 9.5 inches our hip is 38 38 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 11 inches our top length is 22 22 plus 2 inches for our sewing allowance we have 24 inches our sleeve length is 22 inches we are basically going to add about 4 inches to our sleeve length so why are we adding 4 inches because you are going to have your elastic allowance at the upper part and also your elastic allowance at the midpoint and don't forget that you have your folding allowance also for your sleeve so you can basically add about 3 to 4 inches it all depends on you so for me now I'm going to add 4 inches I have 26 inches now our round sleeve is 12 inches 12 divided by 2 we have 6 like I said that this form of sleeve is basically like a fish sleeve it simply means that you are going to add measurements to your sleeve so that you can have this fishy kind of effect for your sleeve so the number of inches you add to it totally depends on how big you want it to be so you can add about 10 inches 8 inches 7 inches it all depends on you and also the amount of fabric you are working with so i'm going to go ahead now and add 10 inches i have 16 inches so these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve this now i know you might want to ask me that what about our shoulder to nipple what about our nipple to nipple what about you guys i have a detailed tutorial on size charts i'm going to go ahead and link the video somewhere here and size chart is also available so we have detailed comprehensive size charts from size 4 to size 28 one advantage of getting your size chart is it enables you to make dresses for your clients without without you having to bother them with different measurements okay so from your size chart you can determine what is the shoulder to nipple measurement of a bus 40 of a bus 50 all these are in our size chart and i'm going to go ahead and put down our details in the description box if you're interested please place your order so if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on now let's move to the cutting part of this so guys how are you guys doing so now i want to drop the pattern for our tube bustier of shoulder top okay so the first thing i'm going to do now is to go ahead and mark my basic measurements so i'm going to mark my basic measurements shoulder to arm or nine inches shoulder to bust nine and a half shoulder to bust nine and a half shoulder to under bust 13 and a half and my top length is 18 inches so now i'm going to go ahead now and mark the lines again now i have a detailed tutorial where i explain size charts just in case if you want to know how you know how we got all these measurements i'm going to link the video somewhere here please go ahead and watch that video and also we also have printable size charts which is available so you can send us a message check the description
so we've gone ahead now to connect the lines you know i have a detailed tutorial on how to achieve your size chart i'm going to link it and you can also you know place your order for the ready-made size chart so this is what we have this is where our top ends so the next thing we are going to do now is to mark our dart measurement i have four inches for my dart i'll mark four inches i'll go ahead with my pattern master i'll go ahead with my pattern master and connect the line on the waistline now i'll mark half inch on both sides connect the lines together so this is basically what we have so the next thing you are going to do now is to extend your dart line to your shoulder and this is basically because of course our tube is going to have bustier effect on your shoulder line now go ahead and mark five inches on your shoulder line mark five inches connect it to your bust line this way this is what it looks like on your under bust now mark half inch on both sides on the under bust mark half inch on both sides once you are done you connect your under bust to your bust line and you also connect it all the way to your waistline this way so this is basically what you are going to have so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and because you still want to have your off shoulder effect in your bust here you are going to go ahead and determine how many inches you want to take off for your off shoulder note that at this point this is optional so you can take off three inches you can take off six seven it all depends on you okay and how off you want it to be so for me now i'm going to mark six inches i want it to be six Six inches off now this is what where my six inches is now for the neckline also I also want to have like a sweetheart effect note that this is optional so I also want my sweetheart effect I've gone ahead now to curve the effect now we want to go ahead now and mark your shoulder measurements before you mark your shoulder measurements please go ahead and close your shoulder that this enables you to get the accurate shoulder measurement so on the line where you took off for your off shoulder because this automatically becomes your shoulder not this upper part that is where you're going to mark your shoulder measurement so my shoulder measurement now is seven i'll go ahead and mark seven inches my bust measurement is 10.5 my waist measurement is 9.5 once i'm done i'll go in with my pattern master and connect my bust to waist you can see and because what we want to achieve is off shoulder you're going to have a slant shape between your shoulder to your bust line this is what it looks like for your off shoulder so basically this is what you have you have your arm or your bust measurements and your sweetheart effect so the next thing i'm going to do now is to go ahead and cut this out so guys now after cutting it out you know this is what we have so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and cut out your bustier effect it out this is what it looks like so you can see that you have your you know your crop top your off shoulder and also your bustier so the next thing we are going to do now is to set this aside now for the back block this is what we have we have our six inches because the number of inches you take off for your front block you're going to have the same number of inches for your back block we have our arm or bust measurement under bust and our waist so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our zip allowance so i'm going to mark one and a half inches for my zip allowance once i'm done i'll go ahead and connect the lines together so on my bust line i'll go ahead and mark my dart measurements which is four inches you also discover that i am starting my measurements from this zip line so we have four inches connect the lines together this is what we have on your waistline mark half inch on both sides connect it to your bust line this way once you are done you go ahead and mark your shoulder measurement seven inches bust measurement 10.5 and your waist measurements okay now 
the bag vlog is actually very easy but if you have any question please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section so we've gone ahead now to connect the bust to waist now we are also going to connect our shoulder line to our bust line that will be our arm o now for the bag block you've discovered that i am not giving it a sweeter shape because of course sweeter shape is basically for the front i don't know Having a sweet tart, you know, at your back block, I really don't get what you are trying to achieve. But anyways, this is what we are going to have for the back block. So I'll go ahead now and transfer my patterns to my fabric. So guys, now we want to cut out the pattern for the front block. I'm making use of this beautiful African print and African prints are available. So I've gone ahead to fold my fabric into two as you can see. I've gone ahead to fold my fabric into two and I've placed my pattern on it. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead and cut the so guys after cutting it out this is what we have so by the time you open this up this is basically what it's going to look like you can see your sweet art effects and also we also have our off shoulder so we're going to go ahead now and set this aside and cut out the back block as now we want to cut out the sleeve okay so the first thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and fold my fabric into four after folding my fabric into four this is what it looks like now our sleeve length is 24 inches i went ahead to add four inches to my sleeve length this is because we have two inches for this upper part for our sewing allowance and for this lower part we have two inches for our folding allowance so i have 28 inches as my sleeve length so the next thing i'm going to do now is to go ahead and calculate the measurement so for the top now, for the off shoulder top, we took off 6 inches for the top. You are going to place the number of inches you took off for your blouse on your sleeve this way. So I took off 6 inches. I have 6 inches of my tape measure. So if you took off 4 inches, you are going to have 4 inches of your tape measure. If you took off 5 inches, you are going to have 5 inches of your tape measure. So I'm going to go ahead now and fold my... I'm going to fold my elastic allowance so that i don't mistakenly add it to my measurements okay so i've gone ahead now to fold in my elastic allowance and then i place my six inches outside the tape measure this way so this is what i have now at this point now you go ahead and mark your arm o so my arm o is nine and a half inches i'm going to mark nine and a half inches I'm going to mark nine and a half inches don't forget that we took off six inches for the top and that is why we have six inches of this way now you now mark the inches you took off you go ahead and mark it on this part of your fabric so i took off six inches i'm going to mark six inches this way because i took off six inches i'm going to mark the inches i took off this way i hope you guys can see it now because we want to have elastic to this i'm going to go ahead and add my elastic allowance to this i have four inches for my elastic allowance so i'm adding four inches to it for my elastic allowance now my sleeve length is 12 my round sleeve is 12 divided by two we have six i will go ahead and have max six plus my allowance my elastic allowance plus my elastic allowance because we are also going to have elastic also i have 10 inches so i'm going to just connect this i added four inches for my elastic allowance you can add five you can add six it all depends on you so this becomes our sleeve our round sleeve measurements now because your arm o is slant right because what you have for your ammo is slant so just go ahead and slant your ammo this way i hope you guys can see it i don't know if doing justice enough but let me go ahead and slant it so i'm going to use pattern paper to also illustrate this because i'm not sure you guys can see it so let me just go ahead now and cut this out and then 
so guys after cutting it out this is what it's going to look like so by the time you open up your back block we are going to have two pieces for the back block so i'll go ahead now and cut out the lining for the pieces so guys now for the back block this is what we have for the back block we have two pieces for the back block this way i'm gonna have to turn them with my lining and you can see how it was able to turn up because our lining is definitely shorter than the main fabric so we have two pieces this way for the back block i'm going to go ahead now and fix in my zipper so that i can have one single piece for the back block block now we've gone ahead to couple this up you can see the bustier effect right you can see the bustier effect and also our sweetheart neckline and i've also gone ahead to turn it up with my lining and you can see that our lining is also shorter so that you can have this turn up at the lower part now the next thing you're basically going to do now is to place your back block on your front block this way right place your back block because your back block automatically is a single piece now place it this way make use of your bust measurements and your waist measurement to stitch this up so once i'm done i'll show you guys what it looks like so guys i've gone ahead to fix in my elastic on the sleeve so i've gone ahead to fix an half inch elastic on the upper part of the sleeve where we have our off shoulder and then i also fixed in elastic at this um midpoint so you can also fix in elastic at this lower point it all depends on you know how you want to style your dress so i'll show you guys how to attach this to your dress so guys after coupling this up you can see what this sleeve looks like so it's basically like a very um full slit sleeve at this part and then i went ahead to just fix in my elastic at the middle part just to give it like a form of structure and not your regular balloon sleeve so this is what the back block look like and then for the front block you can see your bustier effect and you can also see your sweet art neckline and we have our top which is ready so for your sleeve now you can go ahead and have like have like two layers of your elastic or three layers it all depends on you at the end of the day and this is what it looks like let me know if you have any question in the comment section and i'll see you guys in my next one thanks for watching bye